Hey guys, today I'm gonna to share with you a very wearable, dramatic, beautiful for spring eye look. We're gonna focus straight to the eyes and forget about the foundation and concealer and all that stuff, it will be listed below. I just wanted to focus on a more in-depth eye tutorial. So I'm starting off by applying a base. This is from Rimmel, this is a shadow paint and I'm using a brush to just blend this all over the lid. I am not going up above the crease. I am just using this for the shadow that we're gonna be using to stick better to and so that it has a longer wear. So I'm just patting this along. This is quite the extreme close-up. Uh, hello to my eyes there. All right, we're taking this beautiful shade. This is like the show-stopping shade of the whole look. It's called Burst Into Bloom from L'Oreal. You can see it in the center there layered over the base. It just pops so much more. It's so gorgeous. I'm just using my fingertips. I find that pigments definitely blend and show up a little bit better when you just press them in with your fingers. That's just what I like to do. So all over the lid really quick. And then I am taking with a crease brush the shade Unexpected from Makeup Geek. This is a beautiful pinky brown with a touch of a mauve undertone. And what I love about this shadow is it blends. You don't even have to do any work. It just kind of blends out just so easily. I love it. Then we're gonna take the shade Taupe Notch and we're just going to lay this down with a flat brush. This is my 99 cent brush from Wet n Wild. I will be chatting about this brush tomorrow, but I am just patting it down on the outer edge. There's a different view for you guys. So you can see that it's very subtle. I want the main focus to be, bam, this purple shade right here that we are going back for more. We are laying that down once again, just so the brightness stays. Uh, this did have a little bit of fallout. So you see me here brushing a little bit of that fallout away with a powder brush and then bumping in a little more concealer with my beauty blender. As always, this is the hardest part of any of my eyeshadow tutorials, lining the eyes. If you wanna skip this and just do a smoky black line, you could do that as well, and it would still be a gorgeous look. But I was going for super duper insane drama, and I wanted a thick, bold cat eye. Normally, I do a more slim cat eye, but I really wanted that black cat eye to just show up eyes closed, eyes open. I just wanted that to be the main attraction and then have that radiant orchid kind of peek out behind it. And it just ends up being a really intense, beautiful look. And I'm sorry that I'm blocking what I'm doing a little bit here, but you can see I like to fill in the line on my eyes first and then work on the wing. And I'm very happy with how it turned out. I quite like the thick liner. I will do a tutorial very soon all about lining my eyes. Oh, I'm very happy about it here. Okay, on to curling our lashes. I'm using the Kevin Aquan Lash Curler. This is my favorite lash curler. It just gets the job done so easily and beautifully and gets right up to your lash line. Curling your lashes is one of the best secrets in my book. All right, so moving on from our lash curling to a little thickening mascara. This is from Ico. This has a nice curved brush and is really great at helping your curl to hold. So I am applying a pretty decent amount of mascara. I am popping on some false lashes on top of building up the lash. Um, with such a thick line, you definitely want your eyelashes to be bold in my opinion. So I did want some length and thickness and I am just pressing them into my lash line. Yay for me for actually kind of getting it caught on camera. Uh, and here I am just lining my lower lash line with some Lorox Bronze Liner. This is my favorite new makeup item. It is not released yet, but I am just, I am so excited about this. It makes every eye look just a little bit prettier and a little more warm weather friendly. Like it just feels very spring summer and it just makes your eyes glow. So I am just framing the lower part of my eye and the inner corner with that. And because I did that all the way, I wanted to make sure that I loaded up my lower lashes with some mascara. This is optional, but I just think it balances things out better when you do that. If you are gonna be either lining you know, something light on the lower lash line or using like a nude liner in the water line, I think it's best to use a little mascara. And that is it for the eyes. I really love how this turned out. It's surprisingly wearable and I felt like it wasn't too heavy when I went out and about during the day. So here I am popping on a little pink, a little coral from the Pro Palette To Go. And here are the three items I used on my lips. I will list them below. Everything will be in the description box. This is just for a little added shine. I felt like everything glowy and glossy suited this eye look really well and I wanted to keep it as fresh and dewy as possible. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.